a DM. <laughs> a brand slid into my DMs not that long ago and basically said that they were going to be dropping a bag. Now, this brand is um, notorious. It's infamous, shall we say. So I started to get a bit worried. I was like, oh, what might that be? And they sent me a picture of it and I was like, hold on a second. This is quite interesting. So I have two of their bags to unbox for you today. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Let's have a go. Right, I've got two colors. There's a story behind this. There's also been a New York Times article. We're going to get into it. This is the Global Supply Chain Telephone. Okay, that's all it's telling me there. Global Supply Chain Telephone, right? Let's pop it out of this very secure, very secure box, right? I do appreciate how they didn't want the box being damaged, so they put in those corners. Okay, mysterious. What's going on here? Let's pop the trunk. Mmm. This bag is by Mischief. Yes, the infamous mischief. The world's tiniest handbag modelled on a Louis Vuitton on the go mischief. Big red boot mischief. Um, what else have they done? A perfume that smells like WD-40? Mischief. Um, as the name suggests, they like going around disrupting things. Luxury fashion is not to be spared. Okay, what else is it telling us? Designed in the United States, Peru, Portugal, India, and China. I, I want to tell you the story once we've unboxed, okay? Anticipation, okay, right way around. All right, packaging, interesting. Okay, what does this say here? Designed in the United States, Peru, Portugal, India, China. Same thing on the other side, all right. I'm enjoying that, good for you. Absolutely nothing is happening to this bag in transit. I have seen a picture of it, so I do somewhat know <laughs> What do you expect? As suspected, nothing compares to it in person. Are you ready? What is that? What is this? <laughs> God. Okay, so this is known as style name GSCT. Okay, I'm reading what's on this little thing here. GSCT bag, colour, blue, materials, leather. Designed in the United States, Peru, Portugal, India and China. Anything on the back? Same thing. It even says it on the back, okay? So clearly, they're really making a big deal about how global this bag is, okay? And some of these aspects may look familiar. We will get into it. Do I need to, um, do I need to cut this off? I do. Yeah, okay. We made it through. We made, oh, hold on a second. Magnetic. I enjoy. I want to talk about the functionality, then I want to talk about why this may look somewhat familiar. Okay, so all leather. Yeah, smells nice. I don't know why I did that, that was weird. In terms of craftsmanship, this is not a badly made bag in the slightest. We enter inside. What's going on? Okay, hold on, hold on. Get rid of this little, you know, that was open and the beads have gone everywhere. Great, okay. We've got an inside, okay, so there is a fabric inside like a twill. You have a little zip pocket. No, it's just a little pouch. Just a little pouch pocket there that says global supply chain telephone bag. What's the telephone bit? And it's a flap, it's like a little flap closure. Hold on, let's weasel it in. Weasel, weasel in. Okay, there we go. And then we've got the zip at the front, which you can put one singular mint, possibly. Okay, maybe one coin. You know, the coin that you put in the trolley to um, claim your trolley at the supermarket. Maybe you can just put that there for easy access. And then you also have the little mischief hardware lettering there. Oh, and then the curvy little, the curvy little zip. Okay, so for this bag, we have to hear the story. This is four bags in one. And there are four iconic bags that have been used as inspiration for this bag as a mashup uh, moment. Do we remember in, uh, I would say between the years of 2012 to 2015, song mashups were really it. Okay, I miss those days actually. And this Frankenstein of a bag has been birthed. You've got the curve here of the Balenciaga Hourglass bag. Yes, you know, the curve, okay. 
I see a core part of this. This flap here is inspired by the flap on a Birkin, but obviously because of the shape of the bag things have had to be changed, blah blah blah. The interesting, what would we say, what would we say that is? The, the interesting dissension of the top of the bag, I believe is inspired by the Dior saddle bag. And then finally, if this little mouth here is reminding you of anything, if I say Celine luggage tote, does that make sense to you? So this is where I believe all these things, I don't think the wavy arms are from anything. I think that they're just to top it off, to top it off with this wavy little, little vibe. I do enjoy that. I'm not going to lie to you. I enjoy that little magnetic closure. I think that's smart. I think that's a moment. Curvy little bottom. Okay, so why is it called the Global Supply Bag? Why are there how many countries? Five countries listed on the back. Why do they keep talking to us about this? So on this it says, first we asked a factory in Peru um, to make a bag inspired by the Birkin. And I have some more details on exactly sort of what they asked for. Okay, so they got one bag out of that. They then took that bag and asked a factory in Portugal to mix that with a Celine bag. And then they made some hybrid, right? Oh, is that where the wavy, that's where the wavy sort of handles kind of came from. Then we asked a factory in India to combine it with a Dior saddlebag and it came out again in a certain way. Then you have this sort of bulbous end of the flap there, which again is reflected in the, the GSCT, is that what we're calling it? Then we asked a factory in China to merge it with the Balenciaga hourglass bag and this is what came out of it. So basically this has been mashed up and mashed up and mashed up again with four bags in one to create this little Frankenstein moment. Now, I'm going to show you the other colour I have. Listen, the fear of God was sparked in me when I got the DM from them and I was like, eh, please. Oh, it also comes with, a, with with an extra strap. I was like, oh, please don't be out here coming out with another colour of, of the big red boots and you want them to send to me. I don't know if I can accept my love. <laughs> I was like, there's no saving them from my side. Um, but then they, they sent this and I was like, hold on a second. I'd be intrigued. I'd be interested. Okay, leather strap, adjustable. All the hardware is black that obviously matches the glazing on it. Ooh, and it's an interesting design. This is not for you. My love, this is not for you. It's not a D-ring. It's this sort of odd looking hook. That, I mean, I'm assuming we just, do we... Oh no, I see. I see that there's a little a little section. There's a little hidden there's a little hidden area there for them. Okay. Cassie, if we use our eyes, things become obvious. All right. When I saw the concept, I was like, this is not going to make any sense. Let's be honest. It's actually quite a well thought out bag, even with the way that the um straps attach themselves to it and everything. It makes sense. Look, this is what they do best, right? Is to create these sort of, I was going to say weird and wonderful, mainly weird. I think this is the most wonderful that we've had. And, um, and get people talking. And really, um, there's a really interesting New York Times article that came out about this bag um, that I just want to sort of reference. At first they experimented with sending factories vague descriptions on how to alter the bag's shape. So for example, can you make it more decorative? So this is what the creator director, Kevin Wisner said. That seemed confusing. One prototype came back with an extension cord as a handle and some power outlets. Interesting, functional. But they figured out that if they sent each supplier a blurry picture of a famous bag and asked them to use that at inspiration, as inspiration to alter a design, they would get the idea. And the result is this. So it comes in this blue, it comes in a black, a baby pink, and what colour do you think it is? <gasps> a tangerine. Ooh. I think that it's also interesting because um, there does, especially within luxury fashion, there's a lot of um, focus or importance on where something is made, right? So even with Louis Vuitton factories, um, they've got a factory in the US, people much more want the made in France pieces than the made in the US pieces. And to be honest with you, that isn't something that really 
bothers me that much as long as the craftsmanship is there. You've kind of got this front and centre with this piece that is, you know, shouting about exactly where this bag was designed. This bag is going to be available on the 21st of February. They've not, like, paid me to do this, they've not given me the bag in order to do this, I just thought that this would be a really interesting thing to like unbox and show you guys. I think it's going to be $650, like everything with mischief there's limited quantities, I don't know what those quantities are. Is that the GSCT that you're wearing? No, hold on. Yes, global supply chain telephone, yeah yeah. Listen, if there's anything we know, it's a sodden conversation starter. Is that a bullet? Mm, is that a dual? Eh, is that a Celine luggage? Is that? It's the Mischief GSCT bag. What more do you want to know? I'll be so interested to hear your thoughts on what do you think of this? I really thought that it was, I, I was like, look, I don't know what to expect, but, but I know that what they do best is disrupting and doing the weird and all of that. And I was actually really, really pleasantly surprised. And like I said, in terms of quality, I mean, there's nothing, there's, there's, there's nothing bad that I can see at all. There you go, let me know what you think. I will be leaving another video over here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are. And in the words of my father... If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.